I'm cleaning the throttle body and the mass airflow sensor as well as running a treatment through the fuel injectors and replacing the air filter on this Toyota Camry as part of a major 100,000 mile interval uh, maintenance service on it. So I'm uh, opening up the air box, disconnecting it, removing the lid, taking a peek at the mass airflow sensor which I'll be cleaning later. That's also an intake air temperature sensor. And uh, in order to get down to the throttle body, I'm disconnecting uh, the ductwork down to it, which includes uh, disconnecting a couple of hoses, as well as uh, removing one sensor that remote mounts off of the back of the, the ductwork here. And once uh, those three things are disconnected, uh, that will pull free, and I'll have access to the uh, throttle body to clean it. I'm going to be using a throttle body and intake cleaning spray. You can see how dirty this is. It's got a couple hundred thousand miles on it. And it's more of a film than uh, a top layer of dirt or, or grime. So you kind of have to spray and, and rub it and scrub it a little bit. I used an old toothbrush to kind of wipe it down. Uh, you can go ahead and override the little electric motor and open it just a little bit with your fingers. Just be careful not to damage the wire mesh behind there that's... Um, preheats the air a little bit in certain situations when it's cold and uh, once you got that cleaned up good you can stuff some paper towels or a shop rag in the inlet there and clean the outside as well and then I'll hit it with a little bit of air to dry it off as well as hitting it with some air down inside to help evaporate some of that cleaning solution that's settling inside the intake uh, when we start this later it's going to run pretty crummy um, because it's got all that raw fuel essentially in there, um, that cleaner. I'm taking the air box all the way out, a couple of connectors on the back. I want to clean it as, as well while I have it apart and then reinstall it and then just kind of uh, put everything back together, put the ductwork back on, hook up those two hoses, make sure that bottom clamp uh, around the throttle body is good for the primary duct, um, mount the sensor, and then I'll clean up that mass airflow sensor. I'm going to hit it with a little mass airflow sensor spray. I'm not going to touch it or anything like that because it's easily damaged, and then I'll dry it out a little bit from far away uh, so I don't have direct pressure on it. Um, and then connect everything up, and now I'm going to run a treatment in the fuel. I'm going to dump a can of seafoam in there on a full tank of gas. Uh, the fuel tank holds 18 and a half gallons and the ratio is one ounce per gallon. It's a 16 ounce can so that works out pretty close and that will uh, clean up some grime in the injectors. And then starting it up, like I said again, it's going to misfire and, and run crummy until it clears all that raw fuel out of the intake. Uh, if you get a check engine light or something, uh, that's possible. You'd want to disconnect the battery and reset it if that's the case, and then you should be back in good shape. Well, I appreciate you hope watching, and I uh, hope you like and subscribe.